we want to do for our movie, for our Buffalo Bill part of the movie, we want to do um, these four um, colors with mirrors on it. And even at the time Buffalo Bill, uh, natives wore quite often chokers made of four. And what I now want to show you is how to cut four, because I see it quite often done in the wrong way. Because to cut four is um, something not to do with a scissor, uh, because it will destroy the hair. But I want to show you how to do it in a better way, that it works very well. So first of all, I have here now my old fur coat. You see here, it's, uh, I, I had put out everything inside so that I have just the fur anymore. And now I will cut it off. I did a straight line here and cut it off for my German video. So now I measure because I want to make a choker from it. So I measure, okay, could fit with this uh, straight line. And I, what I want to do is I don't want to waste any fur because even our fur coat is uh, expensive and I have to use everything I can um, for making items. Because it's at the neckline and it's a small piece, I tr don't try to use the body part of the coat because you see all these uh, small strips here. It's made because um, if a, a hide is not long enough for a full fur coat. So they were normally used several heights. They were cut in strips and, and this not not strips on the on the horizontal line, but on diagonal. So you see that it's going not on the straight line, this or on the horizontal line, but it's like this, that the uh, the hairs on the other side will cover um, these searings. You will see that it, it, when you look very close, you still see some of these of these lines of these diagonal diagonal lines so this is for these uh, mirror uh, colors it, it would not matter but um, because you have you have also the mor mirrors on but what I now want to do is something here shoker for here so the problem is I want to take some fur that is not cut away because this is also soon I, I, and when you stretch it, then these uh, sewings will, will go open. So what I do now is I look for a piece that's long enough where I don't have, don't have to waste a lot of fur um, and cut this out of this. So I made this in a straight line. It is not much to cut away here on this side. So I will also use these small parts because there are a lot of uh, things you can use them on for bonnets and whatever and uh, I believe really reuse them also. So what I did now was I measured from this line here I measured the another line here you just see some dots. Um, I, I do several ones simply because uh, fur and leather is stretching a bit and I want to show you how to cut it away because you can make a lot of, uh, you can do it also very well wrong to cut this away. So now I try to get these dots in a line. What I do is uh, I take a pencil, a pen here, I have one marker, I could also be a ball pen or whatever. Uh, also, if uh, I don't use them quite often, but here it's a bit necessary. In leather, I quite often take a ruler like this, and you have on this natural leathers you have a, a fluffy surface. And what I do is I simply go over with a with a ruler, and you will see a line. Here, you have lots of uh, searings, whatever lines, whatever. This is why I really use a pen to get the line to be seen with all this stuff on the, on the back side. So. That's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to combine the, the dots. Also because 
you will see later why I, I use a pen. So I do this. It may be that it stretches a little bit, but don't worry about. I try to get a line on, on this. Because what I want to do is I want to imitate uh, a natural four from a code that's pre-worked uh, nowadays. But we try to um, make it look like it would an original skin. That's uh, the point behind. Because uh, you don't need to kill an animal to have this effect for a movie, for a movie costume. So now I mark, marked my line here, you see this. And what I do now, I did not do this until the end because here is my, my point I had uh, cut away and I need a straight cut here. So I don't cut this away because I have a small piece that I can't use. I try to let everything together. Maybe when I do a bonnet, you can do bonnets like the ermine bonnets also with this kind of fur and um, so I can maybe use them all for uh, when I have them uh, on hand so I don't have to throw them away and to waste them. So what I do now is I don't take a skizzle, never ever, because the problem is that you see here at the corner the, the hair will look over depending on where you are on the skin on the body of the animal that's looking over and when you take a skizzle you will cut this away and you have a straight cut here also with the hair and this looks awful i see this so often that i thought of i have to make a video about it because the people should know what they are doing so i have my line here and now I take a sharp knife. This could be such a cutter knife, this could be a scalpel, whatever. And what I do now is I lift up the fur a little bit so that I don't press the hair on the table. And uh, it has to have some air under to for the hair that they could move away when I cut through it. Try to show it a bit. It's a little bit because it's stretching, so I have to uh, handle it. I, I try to show it to you, but it's a little bit difficult. So it's the end that's not not showing to you. So I simply cut it off, but I have to or I try to. Um, simply lift it a little bit because that uh, I don't press the hair on the table. This all looks a little bit, a bit um, however you would call it, not unprofessional, but it's really working very well. So now I got it. And you see, there's not much hair that's going away. It's just a few hairs that you really cut um, away from the from the skin. But it's it's not really. It's you you save a lot of of these hairs simply lapping over uh, whatever you're doing next time. And this is how it's done. And uh, you're losing not so many hairs at the side, and it always looks like an original. Uh, for and on the on the on the corner on the on the other edges you don't have cutting marks this is how it's done what i do what i will do at the next time i will take some calico that's a, a, a very thin uh, cotton fabric that's printed with um, flowers victorian printing and i will put them this inside in the as linen inside uh, because simply to cover all these uh, marks here that came before me and everything like this, like these shearing parts and so on. So also it's also good that you don't stretch it anymore, uh, the hide anymore. You will have a very nice strip that's not stretching anymore. 
and that looks very clean inside from the from the other side so you won't show anybody for example when you have this this uh, mirror collar here normally he has it in, in his hand but normally they were worn here around his neck and they are longer and then you have some wind or so that you won't see the underside it has to look very beautiful and as from a natural animal animal so this is why I do a linen inside from calico and why don't I, I don't use um, woolen fabric because of the bugs because of the moth and, and so on um, the problem is every woolen fabric that you bring in is the, the moth will eat you up before you have all the stuff ready for shooting for for a movie I mean you don't need just one of them you see how many items these guys are wearing from here he's wearing a leather shirt but it could also be that he's wearing a, a normal black vest as it was worn at that time from white people then a calico shirt for it and then all the the items the the native american items beadwork handcuffs um, the upper arm cuffs armbands um, but even also the choker not the bone choker that as we normal no, know normally um, be, from from bone hair pipes because on this time 1890 to 1910 when buffalo bill was moving around was uh, doing his show these were not in common uh, bone hair pipe chokers coming were coming up in the 1980s so way later than this time at that time the people were wearing are wearing a small strand of beads with one of these moon shells or several round glass bead strands with one moon shell or uh, a strip of fur with a moon shell and maybe a silk ribbon so uh, it's it's very clearly not what we think of it might be so do your research when you do um, a costume design for a movie what did the people wear at this special time in time frame and place um, when you when this movie is playing so that's what we are doing and we are now here faking our animal force from an old coat so I hope you learned something new today and I hope that you craft also some items and uh, yeah, lots of fun with them and maybe look for the other videos I put in. Bye!